Hey everyone, welcome to another Daily Gym. It's Monday, August 22nd, 2022. And today I wanted to talk about leaders caring about every single person. And so today I'm feeling a little frustrated uh, with work and trying to understand what, you know, what is it that I really want to do and how to frame some of this stuff with emotions. And I had a conversation with a guy who does conflict resolution. We were talking about emotional self-defense and protecting and all these different things. And, you know, on the drive back, I was thinking one thing I really, really care about is I care about leaders caring about everyone every single person in their organization, in their family, in their community, in their constituency, their country, their nation, whatever it may be. And I thought about uh, how Trump doesn't seem to care about a lot of people. I mean, he cares about certain people and then other people he seems to have a lot of hatred or, uh, yeah, hatred, not necessarily indifference, but some indifference as well. And uh, then I started thinking about Biden. Biden can care about so many people, but then say that there's this group of white supremacists and racists and and whether one agrees with his classification of these people, I think it's it's hard to see that he cares strongly for these people. Uh, maybe there's a level of indifference, but it's probably more towards antipathy or kind of hatred in some way, maybe on a lower level, but still. And um, I was just thinking, I really want leaders who care about every person, who can connect with every single person. And it's so hard. It's one thing to want that out of a leader. It's another thing to be that leader and to try to maintain that love for so many people, to try to feel close to this many people. When people are going to lie to you and and betray you and, and ignore you and ghost you and all these different emotional attacks that I think about a lot. Um, praise you, idolize you, so you can have these love attacks in a way. And I think it's so hard as a leader to be able to connect with all these different people. And I wonder, do we really want that out of leaders? Do you want that out of a leader? Do you want a leader in your organization who you believe cares about every single person in that organization? Do you think it's possible? Is it something that you want, but you think, yeah, okay, maybe that's not going to happen? Now, you as a leader, how hard is this to do? Is it an easy thing to do? Is it hard to do? Is it something you even want to do? I don't know. For me, it's something that scares me, I think, about going into more positions of leadership, more formal positions of leadership, uh, even informal ones, Public uh, being more of a public figure, is that not so much that other people are going to hate me or love me or be indifferent to me, More so that I will feel that hatred or indifference towards others. That I'll start closing myself off and think that I'm just surrounded by a bunch of idiots or I'm surrounded by a bunch of people who are trying to hurt me or I'm just, you know, whatever. Who cares what happens to them? That kind of indifference to them but to life and almost an overall numbness or or anger in what's happening. And I wonder, I think this, I imagine this keeps a lot of people out of going into positions of leadership and going out of the spotlight because the fear of losing faith in humanity and just becoming jaded or angry, like filled with anger and and, and fear and uh, just kind of hatred towards others. but that's not what I want. I want to be able to, personally, I want to be able to connect with everyone. It doesn't mean we're going to have to, you know, spend all of our time together, but to be able to care about all these different people, to see somebody on the street who is super rich and care about them, to somebody who's super poor and care about them, somebody of, you know, white, black, Asian, Latino, and still care about these people. See, you know, see somebody who's young and old and still care about them. See somebody who's screwed me over in the past, who who maybe hurt me personally or hurt somebody else that I really care about personally and still care about them. Um, that's, that's what I want. I want leaders that are able to connect with each other, connect with others, and to maintain that connection and protect that connection instead of 
just letting it kind of wither away or, or shrink and, and fall apart. Because I think sometimes it can be a fragile thing if we're not trying to protect it and try to repair it and trying to strengthen it. So today that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit, just this idea of, you know, what would the world look like if we had leaders who cared about everyone within their group and cared about people in the other groups too? I mean, if I go really big, it's I want leaders who care about every single person and being on the planet. Maybe that's a, a stretch, but why, why not go for a stretch goal? And so that's what I'm thinking about today is just this idea of what happens when we have leaders that do that. So when we have leaders, for example, when Hillary Clinton was running, she, even if she cared a lot, a lot of people, she came in and I think she said the phrase basket of deplorables. And using that phrase very strongly indicates that she doesn't care about a certain group of people. And if people relate to that group, then they can associate and assume, well, she doesn't care about me because she doesn't care about these people. And I care about these people. So I guess we're on different teams. And so I just wonder how that the lack of connection trickles down um, in like politically, but also in a family. So say, for example, we have parents who think that uh, this group of people are bad and evil and you should never trust them, whether that's men or women or, or whites or blacks or rich or poor or whatever. Don't trust these people. Now, how does that trickle down to the kids? Do the kids grow up with a distrust? And if they grow up with a distrust, how does that tr trickle into their relationships? So... Conversely, how does it change if, if, you grow, if we grow up in families and organizations in uh, societies where we're explicitly shown it's okay to trust other people, it's okay to care about people who are different than us. And not only is it okay, it's, it's something we desire to do. We desire to care about anyone, anyone and everyone, and to maintain that connection because it's good for them, but it's also good for us. And... Yeah, at some point it sounds like I'm rambling or feels like I'm rambling, but it's something that's really deep in my heart is how to just connect with anyone. So if this resonated with you, please reach out and, and talk to me. I'd love to hear more about your perspective on this. And um, yeah, I hope to see where this goes. All right, take care.